Hey guys, Dr. Clayton Roach here from Roach Chiropractic Center. Now the reason I'm doing this video today specifically is because I had a patient who was concerned by the fact that she had just gotten pregnant and didn't know or wasn't sure if chiropractic was safe now. So she was thinking about stopping care and her and I sat down and we had a, a great discussion because a lot of people don't know this. When pregnancy happens and the baby starts to grow inside the belly there's a very important hormone that gets released from your body called relaxin and relaxin's job is to basically help the pelvis expand as the baby is growing now many times females who get pregnant unbeknownst to them had some misalignments in their pelvis and their back that may not have been causing them to have pain but nonetheless things were still not in perfect alignment so oftentimes when relaxing hormone starts to get secreted into the bloodstream and you add that on top of misalignments that were there, previously undiagnosed, non-symptomatic, what tends to happen is people start to have pain, pregnant females start to have pain during their pregnancy. Now the pain can also continue after pregnancy because even after delivery, relaxing hormone is still there but eventually leaves and then the pelvis has to go back to where it was and oftentimes doesn't sit properly after pregnancy and that's why people get postpartum pain. Now here's the most important part uh, to this whole discussion why pregnant females should seek the help of a chiropractor regardless if there's pain or not. When the baby is growing the uterus is also expanding and the uterus is attached to the sacrum by specific ligaments called the uterosacral ligaments. Now imagine that your sacrum, the bottom part of your spine is out of alignment. That's going to take the ligaments and turn them and get them to pull not in a symmetrical manner. So what happens, the uterus starts to turn and forces the baby to go breech or in a breech position. This causes concern because in the medical field they don't like to see this and many times it'll create panic which often leads to interventions like a c-section um, going in early uh, to break the membrane because they don't want that breech position to cause any more problems and the mom often comes back and says well you know there's nothing we could do the baby was breached and the fact of the matter is deep down I know had that person been checked previous to getting pregnant or even during pregnancy worst case scenario we could have probably got that pelvis back in alignment and prevented those sacral, sacral ligaments to torque the uterus and force the baby to go breech. So back to my patient, we had a great discussion and when I explained that to her, she now knew that chiropractic wasn't more important during pregnancy but just as important as what it was before her getting pregnant. So needless to say, she's still under care and is going to do very well. There's also been some studies they weren't huge studies, but that actually showed chiropractic care during pregnancy tended to decrease labor time. So I know many females that are pregnant would love that. So regardless, the point is, is that you need to have a chiropractic assessment done if you're pregnant and you can search it online. You'll find very good reference articles on the importance of chiropractic and pregnancy. So with that, if you know somebody that, you know, is pregnant or thinking about, you know, having kids, we need to make sure that we set the foundation straight, the pelvis, so that the baby can grow and mom can have a great pregnancy. On that note, take care. Have a great day.